Hi, my name is Thomas Mauder. I'm a cloud advocate working for Microsoft. I'm going to show you how you can use Git directly within Cloud Shell. Now here I'm back in the Cloud Shell experience in the Azure portal. And as you can see, I can browse my file system here. I have a home drive uh, with my Cloud Shell um, folder, which is an Azure file share where I can store files in a persistent manner. I have my scripts folder there um, where I can store scripts. However, if I store my scripts in a GitHub repository, I can also use Git to basically get that in my, to my Cloud Shell. So this guy here has created a demo repository uh, with a couple of scripts and um, Azure Resource Manager templates. So I can do a copy here of that repository and go back to my Cloud Shell. And let's first create a new folder called GitHub. Now let's enter that folder. And then let's do a git clone here um, to clone that repository. Again, this is a public repository. It also works with private ones um, as well. And it doesn't need to be GitHub. It also works with other Git repositories, obviously, like Azure DevOps or other, other others. So here I cloned now that repository and have a quick look at that. You can see here the demo Cloud Shell repository. If I go in there, you can see all the files. You can see my scripts here. And if I go into, for example, that folder, you can see I have my JSON files, my Azure Resource Manager templates here, uh, which I now could use and directly fire um, to my Azure environment. Or I can also go and use one of the editors directly baked in, into Azure Cloud Shell to edit that file and then push that back to my Git repository if I want to.